Today we are diving into a major face off between two of the most powerful game engines in the world, Unreal Engine 5.5 and Unity 6. Specifically, we will be comparing their latest advancements in lighting technology, Unreal's Mega Lights versus Unity's next gen lighting system. Lighting is key for any game, movie or interactive experience. So let's see which engine leads the way. Lighting is more than just brightness, it's the core of how we perceive depth, atmosphere and mode in a scene. Good lighting can turn a simple model into a living, breathing world, and bad lighting can ruin immersion. Both Unity and Unreal Engine are pushing the boundaries, but they have taken slightly different approaches in their latest updates. Let's start by breaking down the unique features of each engine's lighting system. First up is Unreal Engine 5.5's Mega Lights, introduced as a game changer for lighting in real time environments. Mega Lights eliminate traditional constraints on the number and quality of lights that can cast shadows and interact with your scene. For example, first, unlimited light sources. Unlike older systems where developers had to manage light counts carefully to avoid performance issues, Mega Lights allow for hundreds or even thousands of light sources in a single scene all casting dynamic shadows in real time. A perfect example of this is the marketplace demo you can see right here, where every flickering oil lamp, noon sign and robot drone cast soft dynamic shadows. 2. Texture Area Lights This is something Unreal's calling the gold standard for a flying rendering. Texture area lights are now real time, meaning you get vibrant color spill, soft high quality shadows and lifelike lighting all at game ready performance. 3. Performance at scale Despite all the lights, Unreal Engine 5.5's mega lights perform efficiently even with volumetric fog and animated characters. We saw this running on a PlayStation 5 without a hitch. No stuttering, just smooth cinematic lighting across a massive number of sources. And Rails ability to handle volumetric fog, light scattering and dynamic shadows really make this stick a standout. 4. Free and creative lighting design Mega Lights allows artists to work without worrying about the cost of traditional lights. As we saw in Unreal's demo, artists can experiment with lighting in real time without having to sacrifice quality or performance. Whether it's texture area lights, crisp shadows, or soft ones, everything is rendered flawlessly. This freedom enhances creativity massively, especially for teams working on ambitious projects. Well, Unity 6 on the other hand has also made significant leaps in its lighting engine especially when it comes to scalability and real-time performance. First, Hybrid Rendering Pipeline Unity's lighting system uses a hybrid of real-time ray tracing and rasterization to provide a balance between performance and visual quality. Unity 6 has doubled down on making this hybrid approach work across both high-end and mobile platforms. This makes Unity an attractive option for developers working on a wide range of platforms. 2. Real-time Global Illumination 
Unity's real-time global illumination is powered by Enlighten in many cases and now features more dynamic optics which allow for more realistic lighting changes in gameplay. However, compared to Unreal's Lumion, Unity still slightly lacks how well its global illumination adjusts in open world environments or rapidly changing scenes. 3. Lightweight and High Quality Reflections Unity 6's new lighting system can achieve reflections and refractions that are more optimized for mobile and we are offering immersive performance. While Unreal Engine may dominate high-end systems, Unity is focused on keeping things lightweight makes it incredibly versatile. For light props and volume rendering. Unity 6 shines when it comes to light props and volume lighting, especially in open world or large environments. Light props help to maintain quality in areas that are not directly lit, which is crucial for VR and ER applications. Now let's compare how these two engines handle performance and optimization. With Unreal's Megalights, the power comes at a slight cost. It's optimized, but to run high-end, full-quality Megalight scenes, you need a solid system, especially for AAA games or large-scale simulations. However, it does run on next-gen consoles like the PlayStation 5 smoothly without worrying about the performance. Unity's hybrid approach meanwhile offers more flexibility. Developers can still get incredible loading but with better optimization for lower-end devices. If you're targeting mobile, AR or VR platforms, Unity's lighting system might be more suitable. Unreal offers unmatched visual fidelity, but you need the hardware to back it up, while Unity provides a more scalable simulation across devices. In terms of creativity, Unreal's Megalights allow artists and developers to work without restrictions, allowing for a massive number of dynamic shadow casting lights that bring scenes to life. You can experiment freely without worrying about breaking performance. On the other hand, Unity 6, while not as unlimited in lighting sources, focuses on optimizing for performance, making it more versatile across platforms. Unity's system is more lightweight, which is perfect for mobile games and VR applications where performance is the key. So which engine wins the lighting battle? Well, it depends on your project needs. If you're working on a high-end AAA games, films or anything requiring cinematic lighting and you have the hardware to handle it, Unreal Engine 5.5's Mega Lights are a no-brainer. The level of detail, shadow quality and the sheer number of dynamic lights you can have is unmatched. If you're building across platforms, including mobile, AR or VR, and need a balance between quality and performance, Unity 6's lighting system is the better choice. It's more optimized for various devices and offers solid lighting effects while maintaining performance. So thanks for watching everyone, let me know in the comments which engine you prefer for your projects. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives in game development tools. See you next time.